Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be tying some I like to call the Mick Bunker. It's close to like a uh, peanut bunker pattern, a flat type of fish with, um, you know, like a uh, like a rounded profile. So we're going to start by wrapping our thread on all the way to the bend of the hook. <clears throat> I made a few modifications to like the EP bunker basically to tie this fly. Um, some little subtle differences that I like a little better. Here we're going to turn it over in the vise and we're going to put some of the red fiber. This is super fiber. And you can use uh, a like crystal flash to give it a little more flashy kind of color but this is basically going to emulate the gills so I like it I like using the fiber okay so you tie that in just right to the the bend of the hook here uh, we want to really tighten that in make a nice tight wrap and then cut it off right, a, right at the hook there and that flares that up and kinda gives it the look of like a like a gill okay okay next we're gonna take our white super fiber we're gonna pull out a very small amount of this very fine amount we don't need a lot of it Okay, we're going to go ahead and tie that in under the hook, on one side of the hook, and then pull it around and tie it in on the other. Okay, we want to leave this one long. This is going to be the tail. Uh, we're actually going to cut, tie in a couple that are that, are that long. Okay. Next, we're going to take some crystal flesh. I like quite a bit of this stuff. I like a lot of flesh on my uh, flies. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that in. Wrap it over on itself and tie it in again. Okay. Once we get to that step, we're going to want to coat everything with some uh, some head cement here. Just to make sure everything stays put. Okay. Our next step is to take a little bit more of this uh, white color, the belly color, whatever you're going to be using. I also tie this in like a purple and black, so this would be purple if I was uh, tying in that color. Just whatever color you're going to be tying the belly. You basically do exactly the same thing. We're going to be tying in a little bit further up the hook, but we're going to tie it in exactly the same way. Okay. Next, we're going to take our top color. Today I'm tying this in a blue and white, so this is going to be blue. We're going to cut off a little chunk of blue, about the same amount, very sparse, so you don't need a lot of this. We'll tie that in right on the top of the hook shank. Okay. And then we want to wrap forward a couple wraps again a little coating of head cement next we're going to take some more of this white now we don't need as much this time so we're going to be cutting it in half so pull still a very sparse amount maybe a little more this time than last time bend it over on itself and cut it in half then we're going to tie it in in the same manner, just right in the half of it. But you want to make sure you wrap all the way back to the previous wrap. What that's going to do is going to flare that out a little bit more, kind of push it up against the last wrap, kind of push it downward. It's going to flare it downward a bit. Okay, 
do the same thing. And then we're going to grab another piece about the same size in the blue. Bend it over on itself, cut it in half. Then we're going to tie it in on top of the hook shank. Do the same thing, tie it in as close as you can to the previous tie in. You can see that's kind of standing it up a bit. All right. Come forward a couple wraps. A little more head cement. Now you've got this other chunk that you had already cut. Go ahead and tie that in. When you're tying in, make sure that these are lined up properly. Um, you want these to really be on top. Sometimes you can start tying and they get off to the side. So um, if that happens, just make sure you twist it. It's sitting straight on top. Okay, when you get to the, to the eyelet, um, you're pretty much done here. Um, I do one last step and that's to um, grab a little bit of, I've got this in, in like a pink color, like a hot pink, um, kind of light hot pink, and I like taking that last little chunk of white that I have, Let's see if I can get that in the camera, there you go, that last little chunk of white, and I just pull out a couple strands of this uh, pink and I mix it in and basically what I get is is uh, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera because it's so bright in here but it's 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 like a half half of uh, this white and pink and that kind of creates almost like a we already did the gill but it, it gives like an added uh, you know flash to this in a way not necessary you can tie this without that step but um, I really like that so once we get that tied at the top there, we can go ahead and whip finish this. Okay, now we're ready to trim this thing and brush this out. So what we're doing is we're combining all the fibers, we're getting everything kind of, you know, to where we are going to want it. Alright, so first, you're going to want to make a trim so you've got the hook right right here so we want to trim I like trimming these a little thin you can trim them a little fatter but uh, I like doing it right below where the hook bend is okay and then we don't need the whole length of this so I like kinda of aiming towards like you know close to or however long I want it so if I want if I want the bait fish to be this long I go ahead and aim that direction okay with the shears and that's the nice thing about these longer shears but you want to kind of aim a little further than than that because you want a little f more fatness towards the back as you can see so I kind of angled it a little bit like that then we turn it over do exactly the same thing on the other side make sure this is brushed out properly the fibers are nice and separated they're not clumped together okay and try to make it even you can give a little more on the top if you want um, okay and I like leaving a couple of the pieces of uh, uh, crystal flash a little bit longer I usually do this right over the trash can, but I need you guys to see it, so. Alright, so now we've got kind of like a square looking bait fish pattern here. It's, it's, uh, doesn't quite look like a bait fish yet. So, we're going to trim it a little bit more. So you've got a square edge on the top here. And what I do is I just round that out. Okay, flip it over, do the same thing, round it out. Okay. And 
There you go. There's the bait fish shape. So what I do is I take a little bit of this super glue. Um, it's like a gel form of super glue. Put a little dot of it. My applicator is jammed, so I had to do it that way. And then I stick the eye right on the front, like so. And then you can range it to where you want it, and then push in real hard, and it'll stay on really good. And then we do the same thing on the other side. And then we want to look at it from up above, adjust our eye, and look at it from the front, and adjust it again, just to make sure that they're perfectly lined up. You really don't want these not lined up properly, or it could swim funky. And once you know that they are, go ahead and push hard on both of them. And let that dry for a minute or two. All right, now that we have the eyes on there, this is pretty much done. You could fish it like this. These eyes are on pretty good, and they probably will not pop off uh, that that super glue works really well. Uh, however, I like to take one added step just to make sure that these stay on and do not move. Uh, also, I think it makes the, the head of this look a little, little prettier. But I like to put a little bit of UV curing epoxy on this. I don't need a thick stuff. I like actually using a thinner viscosity stuff. It allows it to really get into the to the fibers and it doesn't build a whole lot of bulk okay and we take like a bog can or something to spread it around okay and then we pull back the fibers before we start curing There we go. That is cured and hardened. Um, this is the finished fly. It's a great looking fly, I think. Um, when it's in the water, it looks even better. It's a really nice fly. You could do a little more cleanup work if you wanted um, to, to really kind of, you know, make these fibers uh, really straight and how you want them. Uh, but but that's that. It's got a nice, uh, I mean, it's very see-through. You can see right through the tail end of it, but this moves quite a bit in the water. You can see it like that. It's a very flat profile. Okay, so this stays uh, pretty easy to, easy to cast. Um, but yeah, so that's that. If you guys like the uh, like this video, I've got more where this one or where this one came from. So go ahead and subscribe. I will uh, be checking my inbox regularly. So if you have any questions, go ahead and message me. I will respond as quick as possible. But thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.